Nayeli asks, what's the best way to fundraise for a church that is also a community center with limited resources? All right, so let's break out of our thing and go more holistic. Yeah. The show. One more time. What's the best, best way for that church? Fundraise for a church that is also a community center with very limited resources. Well, the best church campaign that ever happened was a church campaign. I don't know what kind of church she goes to, but this was a uh, pretty young hipster pastor in Seattle, and he was trying to show his community that they actually weren't you know, over religious. So he threw a keg party and he got the local band and he created a smoking section outside the church and they raised over $500,000. Because the community wouldn't necessarily have given to the church, but he actually chose us because we were not a faith-based charity. He chose us to make a statement and say, look, our church community, we care about the world, we care about clean water, but we don't need to do it with strings. We don't need to do it with an agenda. So I think that's a, that, that message resonated powerful with the Seattle community. One of the things now we're trying to get entire churches to donate the birthday of every single person in the church, same thing. You know, your friends, Gary's not gonna give to my church community, but he would give to my clean water campaign. And it's, it's, it's a great way to kind of reach outside the walls and build bridges. I think it comes down, and it was brought up right from the beginning, it's storytelling, right? Like, what does your community care about? What is gonna compel them to donate? You know, understand the context of the people that are part of the church community. You need to understand the people that are outside mm -hmm. the community. And I still believe in the context of this show, and there's many ways, but in the context of this show, I think getting very aggressive around Snapchat and becoming the mm -hmm. best Snapchat player in a small town in South Carolina as a church and then going to the local newspaper to write an article about how this church is doing Snapchat better than anybody, it's always using new mediums mm -hmm. that give awareness to your mission at hand through your execution of that storytelling. And mm -hmm. so whether it's Snapchat or something else, live streaming on Facebook Live for yep. 72 straight hours, something that everybody in the world is talking about, use that platform to get you awareness over what you're doing. We had a fundraiser uh, run a campaign where he listened to Nickelback for seven straight days, day and night. He went to sleep with headphones on. He raised $35,000 in sympathy from the community. <laughs> Um, and and I, I would say I would totally agree with that. We gave, we gave our Snapchat to a team in Berlin a few days ago who did a takeover of Charity Water Snapchat and they were running marathons and banging on yellow jerry can stuff that we would have never thought of. They were spray painting creating jerry content. cans, creating art, creating content. 